Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before, and I'm here with McFarlane Toys DC Direct 7-inch Page Punchers Mr. Freeze from the Batman Fighting the Frozen storyline. This is Mr. Freeze in Bioshock cosplay. He's, a, he's in a big underwater deep sea diver suit. He's also in this all-plastic clamshell packaging. I've never been a big fan of these. Uh, they're just downright hostile to open. I ordered this guy from McFarlane Toy Store. Of course, I used the promo code MTS10 to get 10% off. Take some of the sting off of the shipping costs, and let's uh, get them out. You know what? I was mostly joking about the clamshell packaging, but I actually, I literally did break the skin. Look at this. This is a hazardous gig. Toy, toy collecting. It's dangerous. I'm out here bleeding for you guys. Well, maybe not bleeding, but I gave myself a little boo-boo. Uh, he comes with the customary page punchers. Black Hockey Puck Stand and Trading Card. The Trading Card has the artwork from this first issue of Batman Fighting the Frozen. All of the figures from this wave have the same issue, but they have different covers based on the character. But what we're really here for is this brick of plastic. The big, heavy, hefty Mr. Freeze. Of course, a bit of a departure from how we normally see him. This whole wave is gonna be something of an acquired taste you're you're into what they're doing here or you're not i really really like it this is gonna be a great figure it's gonna be great custom fodder as well this is just a solid entry for just about any collector even if you're not a big even if you don't need a deep sea diver mr freeze i think you could find an excuse to pick up this fun little dude sculpt is great a lot of really fun stuff going on here i love all the dings in this, uh, in the metal pieces of his suit here, especially in the helmet, you can see lots of dings and dangs and maybe even some kind of rust, hard to tell. The only paint on there is the chrome. I like the ice shards here, kind of stuck to the metal piece around his shoulders and coming out of his cuff here. Little storytelling details there, I really like that. Like the uh, Caveman Batman, he's got a, a a decent amount of paint on him but some of these gauges have details in red and some of the gauges don't have anything it feels a little incomplete the one thing i'm not sold on uh on this sculpt is this stretch of the legs here they have this kind of ribbed texture and the way that texture kind of ends here um, it makes me feel like maybe they weren't sure how to kind of resolve this texture. Like, I'm not sure what's going on. Is are these? Is this part of the knee pads that are a layer over this? Um, or is this meant to be kind of like it's tucked in? Feels unresolved. Everything else amazing. The little, you know, aged leather grain and those straps here. The real highlight is the way they made the, all the metal pieces look like they were just hammered by rocks and debris and all kinds of dangerous encounters. He comes with this freeze gun that is connected to his backpack apparatus here. This is pretty fun. Um, big chunky looking kind of sawed off shotgun style freeze gun. The hose comes around, separates to the back, connects in here. I definitely wish there was some more paint on this tank. They've done that sort of intentionally marbled plastic look to kind of try to give it a little bit of a character. It's okay, but the, the way that the plastic is kind of like sealed, it's got a, a glossy sheen to it, doesn't quite get all the way there for me. I love the sculpt though, it's a, it's a little bit steampunk, asymmetrical, that is going to peg into the hole on his back. Yeah, wouldn't have minded a little bit more contrast of the color between the, the diving suit and the tank. Fits in his hand pretty easily, feels fairly well proportioned to the figure. He's got one open gripping hand and one fist, so he's going to be holding in that right hand if he's holding it at all. Played around with him a little bit. Super fun to move around, especially the head. You can see how kind of big that cavity is underneath. So it's on a barbell. It's got a ton of range. It can cock from side to side. Pretty fun. A lot of character in there. You know, the, the one thing I really dislike about this figure is the way the eyes are done here they're just painted on on this um on what's meant to be the viewing window of the helmet generally i just don't care for details that are painted on but not really sculpted 
or motivated by, you know, the sculpt. And this gives it a kind of a look that's a little bit more cartoony than the rest of the figure. I don't know what the solution is, um, it, whether it's being something that's actually behind a clear piece. I don't know. And also, mine's got a very unfortunate scratch right there on the front. It makes it look so your eyes go right there. Uh, every time you look at it, you see that big scratch. It doesn't have the butterfly sockets that we're used to seeing uh, because his torso is just so big uh, and bulky. He's got the single elbows that rotate. No bicep. Single direction hinge on the wrists. They rotate, but they're not a ball joint. Torso is pretty fun. It's got a pretty satisfying amount of movement in there. Even it feels like it could even move further forward in the crunch uh, if it, if it wasn't the the belt hitting this little tank here. The way the belt meets the straps on the torso that's really fun. I like how this is. The strap down here is kind of a little bit asymmetrical, goes off to one side. Get a decent amount of movement in the legs. Single knee, also with the rotation there. It's really well tooled here. Look, you don't see any of the, uh, the cutouts of that hinge and that texture continues underneath the knee pad. That looks really nice. Ditto for the elbows here. You don't see any, other than the pins, of course, you don't see the any of those big cutouts that they that can appear sometimes. Angles are also a single hinge, but they do have that rocker on there. So you're getting some solid movement in the in the in the ankles and toes still. I always really like the way these chunky characters feel. The way Todd does them, and they got of course they have a little less articulation than than the leaner characters, but the way they're engineered is just really satisfying to move them around. So of course, Todd loves to make us beg for classic characters, classic rogues, and then when he finally gives them to us, he gives us two versions of Mr. Freeze, months apart. I can't imagine this being like anybody's, like, oh, that's the Mr. Freeze I really want, that I gotta have for my show. I think the appeal of this guy is that it's just a really cool looking figure really fun deep sea diving like scuba suit you have a lot of fun with this dude and he doesn't necessarily have to be any specific character and i mean if you didn't know what it was supposed to be and you just saw this like i i don't think your mind would necessarily go to mr freeze right away this of course caveman batman that makes sense right away this is just something else this page puncher's wave it is going to be an acquired taste it's not going to be for everybody but so far these two figures wonderfully fun if you have room for them you're going to be really happy to get them and honestly i can see a lot of people that don't even collect dc or multiverse or page punchers or whatever uh wanting to pick this guy up for for custom fodder because it's just it's too fun to pass up I, I think if i was just at the store and i wasn't in the world of even collecting like dc stuff or mcfarland stuff and i saw that dude i'd be like oh i'm just gonna have to pick that guy up he's just a fun little dude You'll have to decide for yourself if this tickles your fancy, but let me know where you're at on this uh, fighting the frozen page punchers wave. I'm here for it, obviously. I like the silly shit. We'll have Robin and Batgirl coming up. Not sure yet how I'm going to feel about those. Definitely less enthusiastic about them than these two guys. We'll find out soon. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.